So now that you've created a simple consent questionnaire within your project, I'm going to show you how to create a simple task. So again, you click on create, go down to task builder task, and it gives you the option to create a new task or clone an existing one. I'm going to create a new one and name it math task. Press OK. And that'll take you directly into the task. For your task, you will need a series of displays. So first, I'd like some instructions, then a trial, and then an end where I'll debrief my participants. So these displays are all driven by the spreadsheet, and I'll go into a little bit more detail about that in a minute. But first, we need to add some screens to our displays. And you can do that by clicking the little plus symbol within the, uh, within the displays. So you're then presented with um, a range of templates that are pre-built within Gorilla. And for this, uh, for my instructions, I'll need just some rich text and a continue button. And you're provided with a little description there to tell you what is in each screen. Press OK. And again, for my end screen, rich text, press OK. Then for my trial, I'd like to start with a fixation, which is another template. And then for the next screen in my trial, I'd like some text with two text buttons. I don't seem to see this template here. So either I could build it from um, scratch by selecting a blank screen, um, but we do have quite a few which can be edited. So image with two text buttons seems close enough, and then I only need to change one zone. So I press OK to add that. So click on this screen and you're presented with a preview here. Click on it and this is where you can edit the content. I'll get rid of this first. This content will be static content, which means that it'll be the same for each trial, for each participant. It'll just always remain the same as the instructions will remain the same. Add the instructions there. And as you can see, I've used the hash symbol here to make this um, instructions a title. And you can click on the markdown guide link just there to learn more about how you can format your text. Press OK. And you can see the preview just there. And I'd also like to change the button to start. As a default, this is just next. Again, go to my end screen and just change the text here because this will be static text. And I'll just put thank you for taking part. Thank you for taking part. OK. Change the button again to finish. Perfect. Now I'm going to go on to the trial. So for the fixation, you have um, some settings here which you can pay attention to. So how long would you like the fixation cross to show, to show for? Again, static content, 250 milliseconds. That would be fine. And how much um, space before and after the fixation cross would you like? 100 milliseconds should be fine. So I'll leave these as the default. Now, moving on to the main trial screen, I have my two buttons, which I'd like to label as odd. Okay. And even. Again, you can see that I left that as um, static content as I don't want this to change either. Press OK. Now, currently this is the image zone as I selected this from the template, but I'd like to change it to text. So I just press edit layout, simply click on the zone, and I'm presented with all the different zone types that Gorilla offer. So I change it from image to text. Press done. I click on this again, and I can change the content. Instead of having static content this time, I'd like this to be drawn from the spreadsheet. So I click on the spreadsheet tab, and I enter the column name. So this will be the digit. Again, press OK. And as you can see, this is actually color coded. So this is turned to um, a green label rather than the static, which is orange. And this is just a really useful tool within Gorilla to help keep track of where all your um, content and um, labels and everything are being drawn from. So next, we have a few settings that we need to configure. If you go down to the active response, if a response is value matches answer. Again, this is green, so it comes from the spreadsheet. It represents the correct answer. I'll fill this in, in a little bit. 
If one, enable sudden death, first answer recorded only. If I was to change this to zero, as so, it means that participants would be able to click as many options as they wanted until they got the correct answer. But I would just like to record the first answer only. So if I change that to one. Another thing I would like to add to this screen is a, a time limit. So I just simply press add zone. And all these zones can be drag and dropped and also resized using these little dots. Click on the zone, control, time limit screen. Press OK, done. And then I can edit the settings for this time limit. So the time limit I would like is five seconds, but this is in milliseconds, so add 5,000. And I'd also like to display the countdown for the last three seconds, 3,000 milliseconds. OK. So this seems like my um, task is set up how I would like. I'd just like to quickly mention the stimuli tab, which is where if you were using images or videos or audio files, you would be able to upload them here. The next thing I need to do is sort out the spreadsheet. So if I click spreadsheet, you can see um, the spreadsheet column titles all here. And I download this, which means that I can add um, to, to the content of the spreadsheet. So it's just downloading. And I open that there. So let me just go to the task structure so you can see this. This display column will be um, where you drive which displays from your task are shown. So here, instructions, I can add instructions here. And it's important to note that these are case sensitive. So um, Gorilla wouldn't recognize the display instructions if, for example, I'd included a capital I instead of a lowercase i. So it's really important to make sure that these two things um, align exactly. Then I'd like to add trial. I will have four trials and then my end screen. My digits will be presented here. And the digits I would like to use, keep it simple, so it's just four, five, six, and seven. And then the answer, which we saw here, I just need to add um, the answer. So, even, odd. And again, these answers need to match here. So I've given these ones title cases because I gave title cases to my buttons. So I will save this spreadsheet, spreadsheet now. Um, that's the spreadsheet. Close that, go back to the spreadsheet and upload the spreadsheet. Press OK and you will see this here. Another important feature, which is really useful, is um, you can see that these displays are in fact highlighted in green. So if I was to accidentally put the title case in here, it would not be highlighted in green, which is a really good indicator that Gorilla has not found a source for this spreadsheet column or um, cell. So if it's highlighted in green, it's a good thing. Another thing I'd like to do is randomize my trials. So using the randomized trials, I'll be able to add one here in all my trials. OK, so now it feels like my task is set up how I would like. But to double check this, I'll preview my task by clicking here and launching. Before I start the task, I'd just like to point out this little button down here. And if you click that, you can return to the configuration at any point and also download the data at any point. Um, from where you're up to in the task. I'll just show you quickly. Return to configuration, take them back. So launch the task and preview it to make sure it's working. So I've got the instructions and then my trials. So my timer, there we go. Get this one wrong. This one's right. And again, get another one wrong. <clears throat> Thank you for taking part. My end screen, press finish. And here again, you are offered the opportunity to download your metrics just to check that you are collecting the data that you um, need to for your experiment and that everything's working properly. So click that, 
download the data. Perfect. And then if you scroll across to the trials, you can see um, the screen, screen one, screen two. And then here, the response. So I gave even, which was incorrect. And then if you go across, that's because it was actually supposed to be odd because the, the digit was five. Even, I got this one correct because here you go, the answer was even, the number was four. Also get the reaction times for your responses. And if I had timed out any of the responses, um, this column would just be left, this cell would just be left blank. Perfect. So it seems as though my task is working how I would like. So I just commit, add a description. So it's my basic math task. And it's important to have these as meaningful descriptions because in your ver version history, you'll be able to see the description there. If you go to the um, homepage of Gorilla and go on help and resources, the support documentation here has lots of helpful, helpful information. For example, the tooling reference guide for the zones will tell you about each of the different zones that Gorilla offers. And on a lot of these, there are examples for you to try out or um, some offer tutorials as well. But it is a really intense and um, informative guide. Then if you go back to support home, scroll down, you can also get in touch and fill out a contact um, the support form ticket to request help from the support desk. We do have a lot and lots of um, resources, which I would recommend you check out before you contact support.